Hello friends, this, in this video we will be discussing how to derive index number by using fixed base method. In previous sessions we have already discussed the topics regarding absolute measures, relative measures, index number and the base year. So we already know, index number are derived by comparing the value of variable of current year with the value of variable of base year. So now the question arises, how do we select this base year? Basically, there are two methods of selecting a base year. First, fixed base method. Second, chain base method. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to derive index number using fixed base method. Friends, as the name indicates, fixed. So we can clearly understand that in this method, the base year is going to be fixed for deriving the index number of subsequent years. The formula goes like this, index number by fixed base method is equal to value of variable of current year upon value of variable of base year into 100. Statistically, it can be written as P1 upon P0 into 100, where P1 stands for value of variable of current year and P0 stands for value of variable of base year. Once again, I repeat, P1 upon P0 into 100. P1 stands for value of variable of current year and P0 stands for value of variable of base year. So now friends, let's try and put this formula into the... So, so friends, now let's try and put this formula into an example. Okay friends, so now let's put the formula of fixed base index number into an example and understand. Here we are given prices of few commodity and the year. So different years have been given and prices of the commodity for those years have been mentioned. Fine. So now we'll put the formula into this example. The formula for fixed base index number is P1 upon P0 into 100. As you already know, P1 stands for current year and P0 stands for base year. The base year which we need to take is mentioned in the question that is 2005. So P1 the current year is 1650, that is 2005, P0, that is the base year for this year is same, that is 1650, into 100, will give you 100. So the index number which we derived for the year 2005 using fixed base method is 100. Now, if we have a look at the year 2006, formula will be same. P1 upon P0 into 100. P1 stands for current year. Here, current year is 1690. Base year, it's a fixed base method. So, base year has to be fixed every year. So, it will become same. 1650. I'll clarify, I'm taking 1650 from here. 2005 is our base year. Every year, this value will remain same going forward. So 1690 upon 1650 into 100 will give you 102.42. Now, if we calculate for the next year 2007, here current year that is P1 is 1730. 1730 upon base year value of variable of base year same 1650 into 100 that will give you 104.85. For the year 2008, P1 current year is 1750 upon base year will remain same 1650 into 100 will give you 106.06 and so on you can calculate for the remaining years any doubts any queries from your end are welcome uh, that's it for this session in next lecture we'll be discussing chain base method thank you